guys so I wanted to make a very brief video for you guys on a topic that is very very important to be well educated in and that is IV fluids or IV solutions and it sounds so simple you know we hear like oh just hang a, a bolus of a thousand mils of normal saline oh yeah just go hang that LR and you don't really think twice of it but really you should because fluids have such 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 a huge impact in the um, overall plan and treatment and care of our patients for example if you have normal saline running at 120 an hour on your patient and it's been running for four days straight and then you're looking at their labs and you notice that their sodium level has gone from 140 to 145 and now it's at 150 155 well hmm I wonder why their sodium level is so high oh yeah because they have normal saline which is sodium chloride that's been going for the past four days and they've had liters and liters of this fluid so it's important to be well educated on your fluids and some things you need to look out for and why are you hanging this? Why are you hanging D5 on a patient that has low blood sugar? Why not D10? Why are you hanging half NS versus regular normal saline? Why do you use LR instead of NS? So there's so many fluids, but you will use them quite frequently when you're a nurse. And so you need to be educated. It is like, it's the number one medication that you have to give. Even though it doesn't seem like a medication, fluids can do a lot of harm to your patient. If you give too many fluids in a patient that has um, already fluid overload, congestive heart failure, kidney issues, then that can be really dangerous. So it's important to know your fluids, why you're giving them, things to look out for. Why do you not give fluids with potassium in them to a renal failure patient? I don't know. Guess you'll have to find out. So I'm going to leave a link down below for um, a free cheat sheet for you guys about IV fluids and IV solutions from nrsng.com. So go check that out and let me know what you guys think. And leave me a comment below about, I don't know, anything fluid related. Do you have a favorite fluid? Is there a story you have in related to giving too much or too little fluids? Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.